a sweet potato gnocchi, and that's what we're gonna make right now. Oh my stars! Meatless Monday. Yes. This is fancy Meatless Monday. It, I like know, it. If it's gonna be Meatless Monday, we need to give it a little bit extra because yeah. it's a Monday. It's kind of down. Let's make it a little bit more fun Let's and, make it and fun. punch it up. I like it. Are you ready to have fun? Let's do it. Can you get your gloves on? Okay. <laughs> then it's a sweet, it's a sweet potato. I said that, right? Yes, I think it's that's a sweet great. potato ricotta. And I yeah. know a lot of people are intimidated by making their own gnocchi. Yes. But it really is just, it's a simple dumpling. Okay. Right? And every culture has it. I mean, the Italians are always going to tell you that they came up with it first. However, um, <laughs> it is what it is. And at the end of the day, if you just fortify it with a bit of sweet potato and some ricotta, nice it's super easy. You ready? Yeah. You can put so that you down. So you roasted that. I roasted these for like an hour and 20 minutes, and then they just come right out of the package like this. Nice. And you squeeze them in. That's the best kind of package when it's skin. There you go. That means it's like wholesome. Whole well, it's foods. good for you, right? It's, it's good like, for you. Yeah. And then you just get your oldest kid at the table, and you put some gloves on him, and you say, go to work. Here we go. What do you, what do you want me to do? Mash it up. Okay. <laughs> I, like that, you brought, fun, I right? like that you brought me gloves brought at least this gloves. time, because the food just gets right into my nails. I know. And the I, manicure is done I can't for the do week. it. Yeah, I See, can't I'm do any of the other you. segments. So we got a, a little bit of ricotta cheese there. Okay. And an egg. This the actually feels good. The egg's going to hold everything together. It's like therapy, right? Okay. Yeah, it is. It's feeling really awesome. I feel great watching you do it. Do you? Yeah, it's relaxing. And then all we're going to do is add about a cup and a quarter of flour. Okay. And you do want to kind of work it in quickly, but you oh don't want to overwork it. It's okay. more of a folding kind of thing. Oh, right. Right. And then okay. what you get. That's what I was just thinking. You almost there? Oh, yeah. You're almost there? Totally. We could just use this one. I'm just saying. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> just saying. Thanks. Jinxie, sorry. Thanks a lot. This is what the, <laughs> the idea of showing them how simple it really is. So after about two or three minutes of working this it, this will come look out with like that. Dough. It'll look just like this, and then you'll see it's still a little moist inside. Did right, you put that in there. the fridge when you were done making I it? I did. 20 minutes, yeah. right? Okay. And then we're just going to pat it down, and here's the, like the ultimate. You just one, two, three, like this, right? And it and doesn't at, matter if they're all sort of a little bit shaped differently, I would rather, right? I'd have them that they aren't, because you know what? If they're too perfect, people will call you up for like buying it at the store. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right? So then Make you're just gonna give them a little regular. cut like this, and the kids can get involved with this, right? Yeah. It for should sure. have a little bit of stickiness to it, but it's not really a huge deal. Okay. Into the pot they go. Yeah. In three minutes, they should come up to a boil. Right? Okay. And there you go. We are basically done our gnocchi. That wasn't so hard, was it? That was not so hard. But we want to take this gnocchi to the next level. Okay, what are we going to do? We're going to add a little bit of butter. Uh huh. A, a little, little bit, bit of oil. oil. You follow mm -hmm. me now? I'm following Because I am yeah. a fan of the gnocchi, but I'm a bigger fan of like the crispy gnocchi. So if this is Meatless Monday, we can't rely on bacon and prosciutto no. and things like that. So we really have to play with textures. Yeah, give it a little bit of crunch. So, so you see these pillowy, soft little golden nuggets coming out of here like that? Yeah. And then you're just going to like put them in this olive oil and butter, give a little shake. So this to me would be the tricky part because how do you give it that crispy outside but still keep it moist on the inside? This is the best part. Okay. We do nothing. We do nothing? We just kind of stand here. <laughs> it doesn't make very good TV, key. but we it's like, all it. right, you know? Just watch it. And that's what and happens. Like a little salt, right? Okay. A touch of pepper. And then, you know, you just you watch it some more. Okay. In the meantime, or yeah. what we should have been doing ahead of time, but that's okay. We're going to get some cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Right? Because we need to we need to bang in some flavor. And we're going to roast them. Are we going to roast them? We're going to kind of calm feed them in the oven. But okay. check this out. When you have a lot to do, I don't want to sit there all day and just do one you at a time. That. You know? <laughs> what are you? Are you nervous? Well, no. I just, I thought you were going to squeeze them. I didn't want tomato no, juice this. on my outfit. So I just like, you know. Okay. Look at that. That see? was a smart little thing. So I that was that. all right. I see. That's I thought cool. that was all right, wasn't it? That was very and cool. And it, it gets your prep way down. Okay. So a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt. A little now, this bit of is pepper. a classic recipe, and I don't know why it's so delicious. It's just a natural marriage of deliciousness. Okay. So, some dry thyme. Mm -hmm. Right? We're going to toss this up, and then some garlic. Okay. All right? That looks good. And normally, sometimes if the tomatoes aren't so ripe, you could put a touch of sugar in there. I hate putting sugar into recipes because, you know, that kind of why thing. Why do you need it? You don't really need it. With them. When they're this ripe, they're kind of beautiful, and you don't really need the sugar. Okay. So, we lay those down in a tray, just throw them in like that into your oven for like two to three hours at 300 degrees. Okay. If you want to be really cool and you want the house to smell amazing and you don't like to buy incense, yeah. leave them in overnight. An hour at 300, turn the oven off, walk away. That's nice. This recipe is really about walking away. <laughs> it really is. There's a lot of that happening. <laughs> Um, I like the idea of doing it overnight then like you have to plan a little bit you have to plan a little bit but mm -hmm. it's smart because you're not sitting there waiting the two three hours for this to no. be done and it's then, an overnight situation so they come out of the oven that's and they just beautiful. like dried up like little raisins and the flavor you should put so many in there because that's a long time for it to sit there and roast 
So we can see the gnocchi. Yeah. You see a little crispness coming on? It's working. We're getting there. You gotta, do you have to flip them? Me. Not so much. Me. You really just watch them walk you just, away. Yeah, just kind of walk away. Okay. You want a little brownness here. I like that. Crisp up. And then we're just gonna fill it with the tomatoes. Oh, nice. Right? So it's now, popping. people are starting to get excited about being vegetarians. Could you possibly <laughs> imagine yourself? Yeah. Well, it's true. Apparently, that's a big trend for this year because meat's really expensive and people yes. are worried about their waistlines as well. And their, and health, their, I mean, their health, their hearts. Um, you know, so people are, are, are doing more vegetarian dishes as their main. Everyone did Meatless Monday. Not only is it good for your waistline, but it's good for the world. Yeah. I mean, because the vegetables are a lot easier to bring up than the beef, right? So that's very true. We have a little bit of this. I want you to do, throw some basil in there. Okay, I'm gonna do it like a chef. Bam! Yeah. See, that's it. Just like Look one more. That. Bam! We put some potatoes yeah. in there like that. A little bit of. And then it's a little. Oh yeah, baby.